Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tapascolor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this is the card that I've been making today and I want you to pay particular attention to the, the, the background here. Can you see that? Uh, it's a very subtle effect and it's very easy to get on glossy card. So if you stay with me, I'll show you how I did it. These are the things that I'm using to make my card today. Uh, I have some uh, Emerald Envy card and uh, I've cut it to 4 inches by 11 and a half and I'm going to score and fold it at 5 and 3 quarters to make my card front. I've got some uh, glossy white card. Now the piece that I'm going to be using I've actually cut to a quarter of A4. This is just a little, a little sample to show you and I've got some scraps of card for die cutting, I've got some Bermuda Bay, some Tranquil Tide and some Emerald Envy and I've also got inks in those three colours as well. I've got the Falling Flowers stamps and the Mayflowers uh, thinlets that go with them. I have First marking for stamping and I've got some uh, embossing powder. Now this is a custom mix embossing powder um, that I'm calling Happy Accident because uh, I accidentally tipped some gold embossing powder in with some silver embossing powder um, and I'm not going to waste it, I'm going to use it. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I have my piece of glossy card, can you see if that's glossy? My stamp is all mounted up onto my block and I have Versamark ink. And I'm just going to stamp onto my block. So I'm going to start off with that one in the middle there and just press down. And I don't know whether or not you can see it. I can just see. Yeah, not really. Um, but I have got a verse mark image on there and I'm just going to stamp it a few more times I'm just trying to avoid uh, where I've stamped before and it's not easy to see at all so yeah that's okay corner I think. Where shall I have it? That way I think. And just a little bit into this corner. that's about done so I'm going to put that uh, on one side to dry uh, for about 20 minutes half an hour uh, and then we're going to come back to it so that's had about half an hour to dry and now I have one of my sponge rollers and I have Bermuda Bay ink and I'm loading up my sponge roller with my ink and I'm now going to just roll across the top of my card and at first it looks like oh gosh nothing's happening but then you can see the pattern begins to emerge and you get this lovely very subtle background Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to bring in some um, a bit of tranquil tide, I think, around the edges. And I'm just using a sponge, and a sponge off. It's coming just around the edges. And really work it out. I 
you know don't panic if when you put it on it seems like oh no it's all gone horribly wrong just keep working it just keep working it okay. and that is a very very dark color so I'm not gonna not gonna go too mad with that oh, okay let's get to see I've got a blot there so I'm just taking the edge of the sponge and I'm just working it away okay and I don't want to overwork that uh, with my Emerald Envy the sponge here that Emerald Envy which has gone walk about I'll use this one It says mint mackerel and it was due to be recycled but uh, what the hey and again just work it just work it and there you go I've done some stamping and die cutting off camera. I'm just going to talk you through what I did. Uh, I stamped out uh, that flower a couple of times, a few of those leaves and a few of those seed pods and I embossed them in my gold and silver mix and uh, the flowers I did on Bermuda Bay, this is on Emerald Envy and I did these on Tranquil Tide. Uh, I cut two of those and I just fussy cut out that middle part of it there um, curved them on my fingers didn't even bother to get out a, uh, a um, an embossing tool or anything like that just just shaped them with my fingers and then stuck them together with a mini dimensional we will be seeing mini dimensionals in just a moment okay so now I'm going to assemble everything together so I got my length of Tranquil Tide Ribbon and I think I only need about that much and I also think I need to clean my snips because they're getting a bit gummy and let's have a length of tear and tape along the back here so I may as well put enough tear and tape on to hold the whole of the um, the whole of the card in place, Let's put that way you can see it a bit better, shall we? That would be good, Karen. And tear and tape does what it says on the tin; it will the backing will tear, as you can see. Okay. So that's the spare bit. We'll put that on one side. Don't need that just yet. All right. So now I'm going to begin to assemble my card. I'm just placing the pieces where I think I want them to go. Them up and some down. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that arrangement. So I'm going to go ahead and start sticking it down. flower uh, I'm going to use mini dimensionals I could use full size dimensionals but I happen to have the mini ones out and uh, I haven't played with these before this is the first project I've kind of used them on so they're just like full size dimensionals only smaller 
and uh, when you've got awkward little shapes that you want to you want to raise up then these will be perfect because uh, up until now we've just had to chop our full size dimensionals down uh, full size dimensionals are still available I'm glad to say as, uh, we haven't just gone oh small is beautiful and uh, got rid of a perfectly good item so that is the front of my card I'm just going to take the backing part way off the tear and tape and fold it over because if I do this like so it allows me a bit of wiggle time and uh, the way I craft wiggle time is always a good thing because uh, I'm not the tidiest crafter you may have you may have spotted that if you follow this channel for any length of time you may have noticed that uh, I can get things very very cockeyed when I want to okay so there we go that's finished the front of my card um, now because this is a a, a fairly dark colour um, to make it easy for people to see your sentiment I'm going to put this on the inside and um, if you saw the project that I did with uh, the note cards um, and I wasn't happy with the way that uh, the stamping on some of the note cards had come out and I said that I was going to chop them in half and use the backs for other projects well guess what this is one of the backs so well, there you go nothing is wasted and there is my finished card so there it is there is my finished card and uh, what do you think of that background it's uh, a long time since I did one of those and it was great fun playing with that technique again uh, so I do hope that you give it a try and uh, if you do hop on over to my facebook page details are below and let me know how you got on because i would really love to see it but uh that is it for today thank you very much for joining me and i uh, hope you'll join me again soon bye bye